and reduction to Riemannian direction. Riemannian is derived from the Latin word "riminare," means to chew again. Ruminants are animals with four parts of stomachs, which allows them to chew food more than once. And here are some of the common ruminants: cattle, sheep, goat. They are the examples of the common ruminants. There is a system of ruminants consists of the organs directly involved in digestion and absorption of food and elimination of unabsorbed solid materials. The system may be divided as elementary canal and accessory digestive organs. The elementary canal runs from lips to anus and consists of mouth, padding, esophagus, stomach, small intestine, large intestine, and anus, whereas accessory digestive organs. They consist of teeth, tongue, salivary glands, liver, and pancreas. Ruminant digestive system, cattle, buffalo, sheep, and goat, they ingest their food after preliminary mastication and forced back into the mouth, regurgitation, and again masticate in the fine bolus and re ingest it. The process is termed as rumination. The animals of source type are called ruminants. Digestive system of ruminants are elementary canal and accessory digestive organs. We will discuss about all these topics. This is the figure of ruminant stomach. It has four compartments, rumen, the largest compartment of the ruminant digestive stomach, reticulum, omasum, and abomasum. This is the figure of ruminant stomach. The rumen is a pouch here a reticulum, this is also called honeycomb because the structure of reticulum is just like the honeycomb. Here is omasum, it has many piles, and the two stomach is abomasum. Let us describe about its compartments of the ruminant digestive system. Rumine, rumen, this compartment is the largest compartment of the digestive tract. Most feed colleagues here after being shallowed, and later the microbes present in the rumen produces the cellulose enzymes, which is required to digest the cellulose. The pH of ruminant content is 5.8 to 6.8. The food material ingested by preliminary mastication are exposed to rumen microbes and are forced back per rumination and again ingested in semi solid form and directly passes to the abomasum and to the abomasum. The function of rumen, as mentioned below, it receives and stores the food for some time. Uh, there is digestion of cellulose, and there is digestion of microbial digestion of the crude fibers, and uh, the rumen also helps in synthesis of microbial proteins and vitamins. Reticulum is the smallest and anterior most part of the rumen and stomach. Its inner lining is made by stratified squamous epithelium, and uh, the structure of reticulum is just like the honeycomb, and so it is also called the honeycomb. And what main function of reticulum is that? Its main function is to lodge the foreign objects such as snail and wire. When a ruminant consumes a nail, wire, or any other sharp or heavy objects, it is very likely that the object will be caught in the reticulum. During the normal digestive tract contractions, this object can penetrate the reticulum wall and make its way to the heart, where it can lead to the hardware digits. The reticulum is sometimes referred to as the hardware stomach. Omasum is roughly spherical in shape. The floor of omasum is covered with stratified squamous epithelium, and the main function of omasum is to absorb the water up to 50% and also the absorption of volatile fatty acids and nutrients like potassium and sodium. Abomasum is the third chamber of the stomach, and uh, this is also called true stomach, which is the first glandular portion of the ruminant digestive system. The main function of the abomasum is to digest the proteins from both feed and ruminal microbes. Castors, gastric juices produced in abomasum accomplish this. The pH value in this part of the digestive system is 2 to 3. Small intestine is consists of three sections, duodenum, chesodenum, and ileum. 
It measures about 20 times the length of any mole, secretions from the pancreas and gallbladder aid in digestion within the small intestine. The small intestine completes most of the digestive process and absorbs many nutrients through villi and the villi the small finger-like projections. From the villi, the nutrients enter into the blood and lymphatic systems. And now, large intestine. It goes from ileum to the anus and includes the cecum, colon and rectum. The main function of this large intestine is to absorb water and some times and minerals are also absorbed here. And here is a figure of the small intestine and large intestine. And now finally, we have accessory digestive organs. Uh, the cellular glands, pancreas, gallbladder, and liver, these are the accessory digestive organs. And these organs also help indirectly in the digestion. Cellular gland, uh, produce antiseptic and the lubrication of food materials. Pancreas, the pancreatic secretion, helps to break down the proteins, and it also helps to pat breakdown and carbohydrate breakdown. And similarly, gallbladder and liver, uh, the second by loose, and it helps in digestion and also uh, in the absorption of lipids.